somewhat extended Good Morning Portugal show this morning because we're going to try and help um, a, a friend of a friend here who is currently missing in Thailand. So let's bring Siobhan on to talk about this. Good morning to you, Siobhan. Sorry to be talking to you in these difficult circumstances. Shock news that came to you, what, in the last day or so? Uh, yes, Carl, we got the news a few days ago. Um, so it's not just a friend of a friend, uh, Daniel de Santos, Portuguese. Uh, he lived here for several years with his wife, Avalon. Um, and they have two small children, Ocean and Sky. And Ocean's been a part of our Quinta kids the whole right. time they were here and also yes. her nephew. So it's a family we're very, we were very close to and that moved to Thailand, actually back to Thailand for a while, uh, more for Ocean's education. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this devastating news that Daniel disappeared, I guess, on the 12th or the 17th, sorry, of this month. Yeah. Um, and obviously the, the, the real problem is Avalon's, his wife's situation with the two young kids. And so it, we feel a bit helpless here because we don't really know how we can help. Um, yes, but it right. touches us, you know, it's one of our community. And I, I think with the Quinta and the association, it's one thing we've managed to do really, really well is, build up a huge incredible community of people um from all yeah. over the world and so we're just mobilizing at the moment the big thing is actually daniel was the major care taker for the children he was the more maternal one and avalon worked online and she lost her job two days ago because of oh, the situation no. Right. So financially, it's very tough for them. And, you know, when you're not expecting it, I know what it's like, um, Carl. I think you do, too, when you really have no money and you don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, and so I decided that we would they do have a go funding, but obviously go funding is quite hard to share. And go funding takes a large percentage of the money. Yeah. So what I've decided to do is I've now got a hold of her paypal account we're waiting for her revolute account so that people that can help in any way i've asked everybody even my neighbors like if you give five euros send it just financially they need to the help what for uh ready it's just to feed for the basic needs of the kids um mm. and for her and also they're trying to mobilize you know search dogs etc it may be too late for daniel i don't want to be negative but the real preoccupation here is are the children and Avalon, who many people yes, know Avalon. Yes. She made bagels. Daniel de Santa, she used to help people getting their Portuguese papers here, the residency cards. They were very, very involved. They lived in Obidos. Ocean went to the local school. So I'm sure a lot of people actually know who they are. And uh, that's why I contacted you this morning, just to see if we can help out however we, we can. Yeah, well, what what we can do is, is is snip this this off the end of the show and make it a separate um, segment, and and I'll attach his father in law's appeal um, yeah. because the father in law has now gone out to Thailand to try and help. But the the circumstances are that he just disappeared. It's he kind of vanished, didn't he? And he's is missing. Yes. And there is some concern about the response from the 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 police in Thailand about what's actually going on they're finding it difficult to find out what's going on as I understand yeah it. that's exactly and why he's disappeared many people are asking me and I mean I don't think anybody knows um there yeah. is some mysterious things going on uh, it could have been that he was he was depressed uh it could have been anything that he's been yeah. abducted we don't we don't know yeah. uh, we don't want to make up stories and um I think you know, a lot of people may be able to help in our community because there have a lot of people that have traveled all over the world, as you know. Yeah. Maybe somebody has a network that can help more in place there. Yeah. So if you do put the father's appeal, who I spoke to him this morning before we came on the radio, because I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that, you know, they're all okay with it. I also got Avalon, his wife, who's very grateful already for all the help everyone's doing. Yeah. But if we can share his appeal and we're trying to send it out all over the world because maybe somebody, maybe, maybe somebody has a way that, um, they can get through a little bit more to the police. Now, I think the father has said, his Daniel's stepfather has said it in his own words and completely sincerely. And I think it's it's as transparent as it can be. And so any help that we, any of us can do, Carl, I think would help at this point. And yeah, the fact is there's two little boys that are apparently every time the car 
a car drives by oh, yeah. they're you know calling daddy 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 so I bet, I bet. Oh, my god um, yeah yeah and i i just i this is how we can help carl and um i hope everybody will mobilize to to help and as i said all the if it is donations we're giving all avalon's uh bank details direct so that it goes as fast as possible to, to them yeah is there a preference because there's i don't i don't really understand these systems but there's a yeah, couple okay. of which which of these would be best do you think Venmo uh, I, or... I think the best things is to go through the paypal account uh which we yeah. sent this morning there will be a revolut account of course you feel feel free anybody to contact me i'll give it to you uh we're just waiting for it because of the time difference yeah um and obviously yesterday for instance there's a lot of shocking yesterday they did find a body um but unfortunately it was not his body i don't mean it fortunate or unfortunate yeah, yeah, but you know what i'm understand. saying it, it, yeah. it was a traumatic day so we're trying to get as much information out of avalon as possible and making it as easy as possible so that the money can get yes. to her as fast as possible there is yeah. a gofund page as well they started and as i said it's had a hard time uh starting up etc and also i just feel like you know if we can send it directly to her it avoids us all losing 30 percent or whatever. Uh, yeah and this is this is a, a the most direct way presumably of getting in contact is the facebook group help find yeah. daniel de santos um and this is in ko fangan in yeah. um thailand yeah. and he disappeared uh, like about a week ago now right or a little bit yeah. over a week ago a week. yeah it's just over a week ago so yeah um and okay. as you can imagine it's very complicated you I oh, mean, it must be horrific i also, imagine yes so trying to mobilize to see if there's somebody that could go one of her they don't have a huge family so if there is somebody available that could go even to help avalon out with the children yeah so i think they're looking into getting like some nanny or something go from the states but you know some people have been asking me like yeah okay well what happened well, I, we don't know what happened that's not the point yeah. at the moment they just um, need the help point is the they just need help and if anyone's willing to help uh that's that's all we're asking for. all right let's see what we can do folks if you've got well, any contacts you. out there uh, that's the facebook group there and i'll leave the venmo uh, qr code up at the end um and yeah i mean if you need more help obviously you can get in touch with me and i can put you in touch with siobhan or directly okay. with this facebook group let's see how yeah. we can help siobhan let's Thank um you. stay hopeful for some Thank positive you. news here and make sure that uh, we get the family some support i'll, I'll make this a clip and i'll Thank put you. the father-in-law's appeal as part of it as well so uh, yeah sorry okay. to see you under these circumstances uh, we'll leave it there you. today and see what we thank can you. do to help okay everybody right, we'll, thanks so we'll much see bro. you again Have tomorrow take care Bye. yeah all right good afternoon my name is jeffrey giuliano and i am uh, speaking to you today from thailand where my family has encountered a great tragedy something completely unforeseen that has broken all of our hearts and that is the mysterious disappearance of my son-in-law Daniel Dos Santos who has been an integral part of this family for over 10 years a wonderful husband and father I couldn't ask for more in a son-in-law or a son Daniel is uh, extremely educated guy. He holds uh, more than one master's degree, speaks six languages. He's a fantastic artist, writer, and was a champion surfer in his native Portugal. But on the 17th of November, 2024, in a place called Tongsala, on the island of Copenhagen in Thailand, he disappeared in broad daylight. No one has seen or heard from him since. Now on the island, living with Daniel was and is my daughter, Avalon, and her two children, six and three, two boys. Now, they lived as a happy family there for over a year. Uh, my older grandson attending a lovely private school on the island. And they are, uh, of course, still there without Daniel. Uh, we don't know what happened to Daniel. And that is hard enough. 
That is hard enough, brothers and sisters. But what makes it hurt so much more is the fact that although we have lawfully reported this incident to the Thai police in Copenhagen, thus far, to our knowledge, there has been no investigation, no attempt to look at the numerous CCTV footage that certainly would have tracked my son-in-law's movements on that day. Let me be careful when I say to you, to our knowledge, we have not been contacted, certainly, but to our knowledge, we don't know that they've looked at these tapes. And from what I'm told by another police department, they only keep these tapes for seven days. It's been like nine days now since he's gone. We have great faith in the police here in Thailand. Their ability and their desire to professionally work any investigation. But at this point, we haven't heard from them. They have not contacted us. And we don't know what's going on. We're very worried that these tapes could be erased that would tell the tale about what happened to Daniel as he was last seen on the 17th in front of the Center Point Hotel in Tongsala. Have the police gotten the tapes and looked at them? We don't know. So this is an appeal to everyone who sees this to please in any way That you can do whatever you can to help us find Daniel De Santos, my beloved son-in-law, the father of my grandchildren, and the husband of my beautiful daughter Avalon. And to the police and to the government officials who are charged in these matters, we beg you to contact us and let us know what is happening and what you can do about this matter to successfully bring Daniel home. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm quite emotional because uh, I'm an old man and, you know, youngest of the family and everybody's dead, basically. And Daniel was a great light in our family. Someone who brought intellectualism, joy, fun, was always interesting and his talent was just like a sun that shone and lighted up the room. So I'm plenty upset about this. If you could do anything in your power to please, please help us to find Daniel. We would be so eternally grateful. Thank you very much. God bless you all. God bless the Thai police.